going to build an automation here today where we are going to capture resumes of candidates that we haven't gotten a recent resume in a while from. So it could be a great automation to get data flowing back to your system. You might not even know that Herefish has the ability to send a survey that the candidate can upload a resume to and it can auto parse back into your database. So I wanna show how we can accomplish that, get that done here today and create a continual cycle where your candidates are constantly updating their own information. So we're gonna start make a, a candidate-based campaign Call it that. It's going to be a standard automation. So here it is. As it loads, um, we're going to create a new a new list. Okay. So the list that we're going to go after here is people that don't have a note. in the past year, Ooh, we have a lot of those, or this is this is where this can be a really cool configuration. Um, note type is, so you can add a specific note type in your instance for resume attached or updated resume, something along those lines. Um, and again, you can edit these timeframes. So if you'd rather your candidates provide you an updated resume every six months instead of every year, Right, you just change this to, to six months instead of twelve. Well, I'll put this in months just for consistency's sake here. You know, if, if that's three months, depending on your industry, right, you can you can get that going. But this note type action can be really powerful. So if you train your internal employees that when they put a resume in the system manually to just throw a note in or resume attached, um, you can then trigger off of that if somebody you know goes X amount of time uh, b between their you know, since their last resume attached note. Um, and then you probably want to throw in a condition here. You know, if, if you, um, you know, if you use like a DNC, a DNR, that kind of thing, it doesn't even look like we have that here in our test uh, instance. But so if you have like, you know, do not use, do not recruit, that kind of thing, you'd want to put that in here because obviously you don't want to contact people that are in that group. So if, if there's somebody that you don't want an updated resume for, just make sure you include that in the second and condition there. But that's how we get this done is so we find uh, you know these people from a list perspective that haven't had a note in the past year or right that they're there. And you could also put a condition there of you know status is active or something to qualify that it's, it's someone that you want to get after. But that's a general idea from a, a list standpoint. So we'll save that. And now here we're going to add a survey. So the first thing we're going to, have to do is create a survey. Let's pop over to our survey tab here. And the cool part here is you can put this over any any page of your website. So you know if if this is a job seeker, you can actually put this over your job board page so that when they complete the survey, they would land on that page, get more eyeballs to your job site. So that can be really helpful um, when they complete the survey. We can add that resume attached note, which is pretty cool. Or you can leave that blank. I'll show you another mechanism that you can do this as well. But start start with this. So let's save this. Our ask here is going to be, so we have a survey question type of upload resume. So to enable this, to get this upload resume survey question available, just contact Herefish Support. All we need from you is the, re is the email address of your resume parser. So if you're a Bullhorn client, just uh, you know, kick off. If you know that email address, just let us know or shoot a message to Bullhorn support and they'll let you know what that email address is. And then, or if you use another partner like a Daxter or some other resume parsing service, we can also do that. You provide that email address to here for support. We'll be able to get that plugged in on our back end, and you'll have this question available. So can you update your resume? Of course, you can customize what that looks like. I'm just going to show you what this would look like from a from a recruit a candidate perspective. It, it would ask you this question, and then it give you an option to upload something, and you'd get a drop down of kind of files that you'd be able to go in and attach. So that that'd be the survey. So going back to our automation here, we do the send survey. 
Oh, let's see. What did we name that? We might have to refresh. Ask for resume. Let's just refresh this since I just built that. Hopefully, it'll be right at top. There it is. Lots of surveys in our test environment. So we can, again, build this. Um, I'll just build this from scratch. Just to give you an idea, so this would be the kind of the rich text. Right, and you can have this come from whomever you want to. Kind of, so this is what it would look like. Real quick thing here on this survey. So I know a lot of clients don't like this left justified button. Uh, even if you're not an HTML wizard, what you can do is come down here uh, and find where this is and get this aligned correctly. So let's see here. Survey, we are going to, I think this is the center right here. I didn't need to hit space. Cool. So it's just that little center there and there, it's right in the middle, probably where you want it. So even if you're not an HTML wizard, that's how you'd get that done. We'll save this, we go there, they attach the resume, life is good. And then what we'd wanna do is just put a little end step here at the bottom. And then what we can do is in automation settings, we'll put it on all five days of the week, we'll allow candidates to re-enter the automation and we can, we can make it so that they come in this every year, or again, if you're doing every six months, make it every six months. But you just created a system that will continually ask for updated resumes for those that you need it. You have this continually milling in the background, get those things parsed in, get skills, categories, all that stuff updated automatically. It's gonna be a really awesome thing. Um, so, and then one other quick thing that you can do you know, I mentioned in the, in the survey aspect of this, when they're leaving a note, you can have it be that note type resume attached. What you can also do here is if you, um, I'll just show you this, kind of you can also create an automation to write a note. When the resume uploads. So I'll show you how to do this. So here's our automation. We're gonna create a new list, make it always updated. We're gonna do taken survey. We're gonna find that survey where we're asking for the resume. We're gonna find the question. So they've had to answer that question, which means they've had to upload a file. Um, we can put you know, whatever kind of time frame, we're gonna put something dynamic there. So now we're good. Now, whenever someone attaches a file uh, through that resume, through that survey, resume question, they'll come in this list, and then we could add a note. We could select our note action. And we can even put the, the first name, last name here. Do, 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 do. Voila. So you can do this to make sure that this is running. And then again, in automation, you'd want to allow to some, but allow people to come in this more than once. There you go. We got the whole system set up, ready to update your database. Uh, kind of one. Uh, candidate at a time have this continually running one quick thing to note on this from a best practice standpoint if you're messaging a candidate that you haven't spoken to in a year or longer and you're asking them right off the bat to provide you an updated resume they might not give it to you so if if it's someone who you haven't contacted with recently or you don't have a strong relationship with you might want to start with a give, 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 ask type model to rebuild that relationship, get some nurturing back in so that you provide some value to them before you ask. That will drive up your overall completion percentage. That's a quick best practice tip there.